Hundreds of folks braved the rain at War Memorial Plaza today as Stephanie Rawlings Blake took the oath of office to begin her first four year term as Baltimore's mayor. ABC 2 News Jeff Hager joins us now with the mayor's ambitious plans for the future. Jeff? Kelly, your supporters say Stephanie Rawlings Blake hasn't backed down in her first year as mayor, but given the benefit of a full term now, she appears to be ready to step up and is encouraging citizens to do the same to build a better Baltimore. Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake emerged from City Hall to assume her place as the city's top executive for another four years, but with plans which span the next decade. I see a city where over the span of a decade, 10,000 more families will choose to live in Baltimore, a city where more businesses choose to invest and where we are made stronger because of it. This is our future together. Rawlings Blake assumed the role of mayor last year after her predecessor stepped down in the midst of scandal. And her supporters say she's restored integrity to the office. She came into a blizzard. She, she got through the blizzard right into a budget blizzard. Right? And we've even had a tornado. Uh, I think she's done a terrific job. She's got a steady hand. And she's um, just the right kind of person for this time in Baltimore's history. From the people that you see here supporting her, they believe that Baltimore is back on its way to being, you know, a, uh, a city that can be put on a pedestal, a city that can be shopped around nationally, because that's what we need in the, in the city. We need tourism. We need more jobs. To achieve her goal, Rawlings Blake would have to seek a second full term four years from now. Execute the office of mayor of Baltimore. The supporters say her unwavering commitment to the city and its future may help her overcome any obstacles that may stand in her way. Today, Baltimore renews its spirit of self-determination. State and federal government will not do the hard work for us. In fact, sometimes they'll make it harder. It is now in our hands to build a future that sustains us and where our children may inherit a city that is stronger than we found it. By some accounts, the mayor's goal of adding 10,000 families would mean adding 22,000 people over the next decade. That's after decades of population decline in the city. Jeff Hager, ABC 2 News.